Hi friends, this week we are going to talk about long and short sounds in music. When we use those long sounds and short sounds in music together in patterns, they change how we feel and they also keep our brain more interested in what we were listening to. If we were talking and I only used one tone of voice and my speed stayed the same with the same length in words, you would get really bored really fast, which is why music is exciting. It's interesting. It keeps our brains engaged. And part of the way that they do that is with the use of long and short sounds. They change how we feel while we listen. So long sounds are those long drawn out sounds that are held over several beats. Whereas short sounds are fast and they are over quickly. They are brief, short, okay? So let's practice. I want us to come up with a motion for long and short. Let's do this. Whenever I say a short sound, we are going to take two fingers and tap them together like this. When we see a long sound, we're going to draw a long line with our fingers. Or you can brush the edge of your legs like this. Long, short, long. Let's do that. Okay. So we're going to do that with cactuses. Cacti, cactus, cacti. When you see a short cactus, that is a short sound. When you see a long cactus, that is a long sound. So I'll show you first, then I want you to try. Are you ready? Here we go. Pretty good. Now you try. Do it with me. Short, long, short, 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 long. Good job. Good job. Are you ready for another one? Okay. Here we go. Watch me first. Long, long, short, long, short, long. Do it with me. Are you ready? Good job. Good job. Now we see how time is stretched out in between short and long, but we can add some animal sounds. Let's make it just a little bit more interesting. I'm thinking of some barnyard animals. Barnyard animals that make long sounds and short sounds. Now, I used to have chickens, and chickens make these really short sounds. Buck, 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 buck. So what you can do is think of that barnyard animal, that chicken, buck, buck, okay? And that will be our short sound. So then I'm thinking of an opposite kind of sound, a long drawn out animal sound. And I'm thinking of a sheep. Mm hmm Bah, long and drawn out, okay? So it's the same pattern as before, our first pattern, but this time let's add those animal sounds. Are you ready? Listen to me first and we'll do it again together, okay? Bach. Ba, buck, 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 ba. <laughs> it's, it's pretty silly. I know, I know. But let's do it together again. Are you ready? Buck, ba, buck, 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 ba. Good job. Let's do another one together. This is the same second pattern we just did. But now, instead of just motions, we'll use our animal sounds. Okay, listen first. Ba, ba, buck, ba, buck, ba. Good. Ready to do it together? Here we go. Ba, ba, buck, ba, buck, ba. <laughs> Pretty silly, but I think it's a lot of fun. Good job. You did a great job together. Okay, so now it's your turn. In our lesson, I want you to go and scroll down below 
and watch some of the other videos and the other clips I've included that show you long sounds and short sounds. And I want you to be thinking about how does the composer use those long and short sounds to change how you feel while listening? Does your heart beat faster? Do you feel calmer? Pay attention while you're listening and I think you're really going to enjoy it. All right, guys, good job and I will see you in a bit.